Welcome and thank you very much everyone watching this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to run a binary logistic regression model uh, in Stata software. As you know Stata software is a statistical package that uh, is used to uh, run um, uh, statistical tests and statistical models and um, data analysis of any kind uh, that fits to our uh, data characteristics and data features. In this um, a video uh, so we can uh, run uh, the uh, procedures of um, a binary logistic regression model in in uh, this software and uh, one thing that one have to know about uh, the binary logistic regression model is that uh, we can have uh, just uh, one dependent variable that is categorical okay that is categorical and the, cat the groups within that categorical variable so the levels in that categorical variable should be um just two okay just two and in our case i have a uh, sample data here let me open from um, my pc and uh, it is on my desktop i placed it and uh, it is uh, here let me open okay it is open yeah it is opened and uh, look here in the data editor uh, this is a uh, data that was collected from the rural household is uh, on um, the uh, cash crop um, growing tendency of the household is and here as you see uh, in the yeah those are the cash crop is and uh, chart and, and income you know, coffee and uh, you know chart and the income from um, the chart and the coffee and income from coffee or banana income those are the responses from the household is regarding whether they uh, grow or not uh, this um, cash crop is and the data is summarized here the response is summarized here uh, for all the uh, cash crop is okay for the household is practice okay if the household is uh, uh, not growing any of uh, this independent uh, this uh, this um uh, cash crop then the response will be a uh, no uh, if it grows one of uh, this uh, cash crop then it, uh, the response will be uh, yes therefore this is a variable okay this is a categorical variable and it is responses are yes or no um you know the responses are two okay yes and no that is um that that is an independent variable. That, that's a dependent variable. Okay, not independent. It is a dependent variable that we're gonna use in this um, uh, uh, video. And uh, you know, our interest here is uh, to identify the variables, the socio-economic variables, uh, the demographic variables of the householders uh, that determine the household's decision to grow a cash crop. Is okay. The householders um, uh, have responded to us. Uh, that they are growing cash crop or are not growing cash crop. Their answers are, um, are presented here below in a yes or no terms. And our interest in running um, uh, binary logistic regression model is to identify what are the uh, what are the variables, socio-economic and the demographic variables that are, that determines the decision of the household to grow uh, cash crop or not. To do so, then let us go to the uh, to uh, the command um, uh, window of this uh, status interface, and uh, here in under the uh, variable window, okay, in the variable window, we can identify our variable, and here is uh, a cash crop variable. Okay, household is uh, participation in cash crop uh, production and it is uh, as we have seen it is answered as yes or no therefore this will be our dependent variable okay our dependent variable with uh, two categories yes and no and uh, thus are the socio-economic variables that will be and the demographic variables that we will uh, load into the model to check how they influence the decision of uh, the uh, the household to grow or not to grow the uh, cash crop and the gender education marriage uh, family size, distance uh, from the uh, market center, okay, the household is residence, um, uh, distance from uh, the market center, the farm size, okay, the size of the farmland owned by the 
household and the household is access to credit if whether or not the household access um, credit and the land ownership modality um, extension um, access to extension advice those are the social economic and the demographic variables that we can load into the model to see how they influence the decision of the household is regarding uh, their regarding growing or not growing um, a cash crop so let me show you once again the data set here uh, the uh, data of uh, each of the set. look here gender it is gender of the household head okay then whether the household the household the household is head is uh, gender is male or female then age okay below 30 and greater than 50 um, you know there is a cut off okay category so far the age and um, but age uh, will not be part of our uh, model okay we discarded it education illiterate uh, means um, it seems uh, somewhat offensive illiterate means uh, 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 you know the household head cannot write uh, or read and the primary or elementary and um, uh, secondary um, secondary okay is literate primary okay it is of um two categories and uh, not two categories secondary is also here therefore it is categorical variable once again and marriage and married and divorced um, single and those are the uh, still a categorical variable and family size is not a categorical it is continuous variable because there is no category for you know it can be a three members four members um five members ten members twelve members of um, the family uh, size not uh, uh, categorical then distance it is in terms of kilometers uh, from the market center the farmland size it is in terms of hectare 0 0.3 hectare 1 hectare 0 0.3 and access to credit is uh, uh, is a categorical variable which is uh, it is responses are yes or no land ownership whether the land is a uh, private or rented is a categorical variable and uh, extension advice whether the household is uh, getting uh, extension advice or not you know advice from the uh, professionals okay extension professionals um yes and no those are the variables that we can load into the um, model so let me go to uh, the uh, comment window and uh, look the the comment that we give to starter when we are about to run a binary logistic regression model is logit logit and then next to logit we um, have to bring down from the variable uh, window to the command window the, the dependent variable our dependent variable is cash crop um, cash crop growing uh, tendency of uh, the household again okay, it is uh, yeah here household is part uh, household is participate in household is participation in uh, uh, cash crop production and uh, let us click twice on it and then it will move or we can exactly without distorting the letters of uh, the spelling of uh, the variable we can directly write it in the command uh, window but let us cl double click on it and it come down okay come down then next to the um, next to the uh, dependent variable then let us uh, uh, bring down the independent variables gender of the household is it education level of the household is it and marital status of the household is it and family size distance of the residents from the market center farmland size access to credit and uh, land ownership modality and then um, the extension at access to extension advice those are the independent variables uh, we loaded into the model and mind you one thing that you have to do is that when you have a uh, uh, categories in the uh, group is in the categorical variable more than two categories then you have to uh, put i dot uh, behind the independent variable for example education we have a uh, three um, we have three uh, groups literate primary or um, elementary and then secondary therefore the groups are three so we have to write i dot next to the uh, behind the education variable and uh, gender because we have just two groups no need to write i i dot uh, in the marriage uh, variable there are four um, uh, 
married, single, divorced, and widowed. There are four groups, so four we have to write I dot. And uh, the uh, family size, distance, uh, farm size, uh, credit access is binary. Land ownership is uh, of how many? Uh, let us check uh, how many. Uh, it is how many groups? Private, rented, private, rented, private, rented. It is binary. Okay, it is of um, it is of uh, two responses. Two 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 responses. Okay, two groups. Therefore, we, we should not write um, uh, I dot. And uh, then we can hit on the we can uh, touch the inter uh, the OK pattern on our keyboard or uh, inter dummy, and then it will generate the, the binary logistic regression uh, model uh, result. Okay, look here, look as you see here. Here is the um, uh, model. Okay, the model output. Okay, here is the model output. The number of observation, the um, likelihood ratio and it is in terms of uh, a chi square probability the model the fit is the fit, how the model is fit and how uh, the pseudo r square is um, and uh, here is the model okay. and then you can move uh, the result into what okay let you to do so you can take down the uh, logic um, the, the, the comment and then you can write a stock and then it will uh, transfer this uh, output into Word, Microsoft Word. Okay, then you can uh, simply interpret uh, uh, from the. Otherwise, copying this, uh, copy and paste this output to the Word uh, will uh, disarray the table, and then it will be problem problematic to order to uh, order the tables. But uh, to use Asdoc in your um, uh, starter package, you have to uh, you have to install. Okay, you have to install this um, Astroc um, extension. Okay, in Stata, and you can, I will uh, prepare um, a video on that how to uh, transfer your da your um, model result into the Microsoft Word from Stata. And uh, this is um, how you this is how you generate the this is how you generate the result by, by the binary logistic regression models result in in starter and sometimes when we are um, interested in the odds ratio odds ratio we just uh, add comma into the command and the right or okay this odds ratio and then we generate the result and look here the odds ratio is um uh, the odds ratio is generated okay the odds ratio is generated Look here, what is ratio is here in this column? Okay, there is no odds ratio. The coefficient it immediately starts the column and starts immediately with coefficient, but here uh, with um, uh, odds ratio command, then it uh, uh, generates the odds ratio column. Okay, odds ratio column instead of uh, the coefficient column.